Hey guys, welcome back to Helper Function. In this video, we will discuss a popular interview question, find the peak element. A peak element is an element that is greater than its neighbor. Given an input array nums, where nums of i is not equals to nums of i plus 1, find a peak element and return its index. And if there are multiple peak elements, you can return any of the index. Also, it is given that nums of minus 1 and nums of n can be considered as minus infinity, which means that for the first element, we will only consider its next neighbor and for the last element, we will only consider its previous neighbor. Now let's look at an example. Now in this example, 1 cannot be the peak element as 2 is greater than 1, 2 cannot be the peak element as 3 is greater than 2. Now 3 is a peak element because it is greater than both 2 and 1 and 1 is not a peak element because it is lesser than 3. Thus our answer to this example would be 2 that is the index of element 3. Now for this example our peak element is 4 as it is greater than 3 and because it is the last element we just need to compare it with the previous one. So let's see how we will solve this problem. The answer can be found in single traversal where we will compare each element with its neighbor. But here we are looking for a log n solution. Let's say we are currently at index 1 and we compare it with the next element. Now as 2 is lesser than 3, there can be a chance that 3 will be the peak element. For that, we need to compare 3 with its next neighbor. But we get that the next neighbor is 4 and as 4 is greater than 3, 3 cannot be the peak element. But now 4 has the chance to become a peak element and we need to compare it with its next neighbor. As 4 is greater than 2, we got our peak element as 4. Suppose if the last element was 5, then 4 cannot be the peak element but 5 is because 5 is greater than 4 and it has no element to its right. Thus we see that under any circumstances we will definitely get a peak element on the right side of 2. Note that we can also have a peak element on the left side of 2. Like in this example 7 is a peak element. But here we cannot guarantee that. If we replace 7 by 0 then there is no peak element on the left side of 2. And whenever we are sure about going left side or right we use binary search. Thus we will be using binary search to solve this problem. If my present number is smaller than the next number then we are sure about getting peak element on the right side and thus we move to the right. Otherwise we are sure that there is a peak element on the left side and we will move left. So let's look at this example. Left and right are my two pointers and currently mid is at index 2. We compare the numbers 3 and 4 and as 3 is lesser than 4 we move to the right which means that my left will be pointing to 4 now. Now my mid will be at index 3 and we will compare 4 and 2. As 4 is greater than 2 we move left which means that my right is also pointing to 4 now. As left and right are pointing to same index we will return this index as our answer. Now let's look at the code. We will be given with the nums vector and is the size of the array we have two pointers left and right. Left is initially at 0 and right is pointing to the last element. Now this while loop will work till left is less than right. Mid is the middle element. If the middle element is lesser than its next element then we need to move right which means that left will now point to mid plus 1. Otherwise we will move left and right will point to mid. Note that right does not point to mid minus 1 because mid is still the contender for peak element. And finally when this while loop will terminate we will return left as our answer. Now let's dry and run with this example. Initially left is at index 0, right is at index 6 and mid is at index 3. We have to compare the middle element and its next neighbor. As 3 is lesser than 5, we will shift right and now my left will be pointing to mid plus 1. 
So we arrive here. Now you can see that the element at index 1 that is 2 is also a peak element. But here we only need to find only one peak element and that can be found on the right side. Thus we move to the right. Now mid is at index 5 and as 6 is greater than 4, so my right pointer will move to mid. Now mid will be at 4 and as 5 is lesser than 6, now my left will be pointing to mid plus 1. And now we see that left and right are same, thus the while loop will terminate and we will return index 5 as our answer. Thus this problem can be solved in log n time complexity. The space complexity is O of 1 because we are using constant space. So this was all about the problem. I put the problem link in the description. You can check it out. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe this channel for more such videos.